Black History Month in February, the Museum of Science and Industry's annual Black Creativity Program returns. Yeah, it's one of the longest running displays of African American art in the U.S. Joining us now with details on their exhibit is Jessica Chavez, the Vice President of Education at MSI. Welcome! Hello, thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. This is such a gorgeous exhibit because you guys have a lot to show off. Absolutely. It's gone on since 1970 and it's full of family-focused activities as well as showcasing some of the most beautiful art I've ever seen. We've seen about 10,000 people annually through oh, our wow. programming and exhibition. That's cool. It focuses not, you have art, all types of art, but talking about architecture, can you talk a little bit about some of the exhibits? and what they offer? Yeah, absolutely. It's really about celebrating Chicago and all of the great work that goes into it, whether it is architecture or uh, fabric art or um, you know, oil paintings. I mean, we have everything there and it's truly amazing. And I mean, you have to see it to just truly take it in. Take it all in. Yes. And I mean, you guys kicked it off on MLK Day and you got to do some stuff with families, which I really enjoy the interactive stuff. Show me a little bit about what kids got to do with their families yes. or everybody, I should say. Absolutely. Yeah. So we introduced STEAM, which is science, technology, engineering, and art with math. And so to do that, we talked a lot about color theory. We invited one of our teen, uh, previously teen uh, winners to come and showcase their work. But we also talked about the psychology of color and how it impacts our mood. We also talked about UV light, which when we talk about light, color comes right after that. So we did a fun little activity here where we hid some hidden pictures here with Ooh. some UV light. Okay. So it looks just like a normal, you know, icon, something we would use for marketing. But when we use a UV light, which really is seen by bumblebees or what bumblebees actually see on um, different types of flowers, we have our own hidden message. That's so cool. Yes. So we thought that you might want to be able to do your own piece of work ah. here. Oh, well, we talk a little bit about the exhibition. So we have our iconic building here. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. And Where is that? No, oh, yeah. <laughs> South Shore. Uh, so you can come and just design and just have cool. fun with it and we can see what you draw. Okay. But uh, like you said, it kicked off on MLK Day and yeah. will be running through April 21st. It's free with your museum admission to attend. And and this was a one day event, but you guys have a lot of other events coming up because I know the gala is coming up. Um, you've got yes. a career yes. day coming up. Talk a little about those. Yes, absolutely. So besides the exhibition, we have a lot of fun and engaging activities. Um, one of those is February 23rd. We have a Meet Her event. So we have a 16-year-old. My birthday, guys. Oh, yay. It's a great so day. <laughs> We have a 16-year-old STEM water conservation activist coming to speak to young ladies. Oh, wow. that's cool. We have 30 scientists, engineers, and artists for our career showcase. It is going to be a great event. Go to our website. You'll find out all of the fun things that we're doing for celebrating black creativity. And come and have fun and paint and, you know, just roll up your sleeves and, and uh, have a great time. I heard the gala is pretty darn mm -hmm. fun. <laughs> yes, it is. So, yes, tickets are still on sale. That is February 17th. Uh, come and dance, enjoy, and actually you'll be able to do some more of this kind of fun work. Oh, I love it. And I like that you guys also do stuff in conjunction with the schools to get these STEAM programs to kids who really need to see them. Absolutely. So while MSI does a lot of fun activities, we are out seven days a week, whether we're at a library, community center, or school, celebrating. Steam. So introducing students to it's okay to fail and it's okay to have fun and learn at the same time. Yeah, you gotta try. Absolutely. Yes. We're creating so, the inventive genius in everybody. All right, should we show off our work? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it looks a little hidden. Yeah. But if you zoom Ooh. in close, we have an L, oh, an O, oh, a V, E, O, and a sun that's still drawing. Drawing sun. <laughs> but I can't wait to see what it looks like even more when it's drawn. Oh, that's oh. so fun. So you're saying only people who can see this types of like are bumblebees? Those are people. not people. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing. Yes, yeah, so our UV light spectrum actually only goes to purple as we're humans, but where it starts for the UV light, that's why we see it as purple, is actually where bumblebees and other uh, insects can start to pick it up. Can fish see UV light too? Because I know I feel like I remember seeing like the West ones. Some of them are really deep. That's the only reason why they can like make their way around. And that's an MSI would say. Great question. Let's investigate it further. <laughs> ah, <laughs> have to we'll dig deeper. Our, yeah, I'll bring it to my fish tank and we'll see if they respond oh, to our yeah. picture. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much yeah, for being this here. Great. This is awesome. You guys are doing Absolutely. such great things at the museum. Thank you. Thank you. You guys to check out the 53rd Black Creativity Exhibit. You can head to the Museum of Science and, and Science and Industries website. It is msichicago.org. The Black Creativity Juried Art Exhibition runs now through April 21st. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you.